Hello, my name is Petra. I am a birth doula, a birth educator, and I am a mom to four crazy kids. And I'm here to help empower women. I lie. I'm here to help women realize the power that they already have inside of them. So today I wanted to talk about autonomy. So if you're not sure what autonomy means, it's like having the rights over your own body. It's about being able to make decisions for yourself. So this is super important if you are giving birth. I mean, it's super important whether you're giving birth or not. Um, so I want to talk about what exactly autonomy in birth truly means. So autonomy is a fundamental right of every person giving birth. Now, what this means is you have the right to make informed decisions about your birth. It's about recognizing that your journey is unique and it's important for you to have your wishes respected and your values respected and your preferences respected, no matter what they are. Now, when we're talking about autonomy, we're acknowledging that women have an innate wisdom about their bodies and births. And it's not about rejecting medical care, but rather collaborating with healthcare providers. If you do choose to go that route, you don't have to, but if you do partners in decision-making. So this is when like, say your doctor's like, Oh, you have to have a C-section and you're like, but why? And they're like, just because they're, they're not really giving you a choice, even though you always have a choice, they're not making it an option for you to make that choice for yourself. So in order to be able to foster autonomy in your life, it's important that you are informed so that you can make an informed decision and not just on the risks or not just on the benefits, but both. So you want to always make sure that you know the risks and the benefits of everything. There's no reason why we have to listen to a doctor when they tell us we have to do something. It's always in our own power to make that decision. And we can look at evidence-based information so that we can make that empowering choice um, to make sure that whatever we're choosing aligns with our beliefs and our own individual desires, because that's what matters. So when 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 women are well informed, they can actually confidently navigate this birth journey. It's always essential to realize the benefits, the risks, the alternatives of anything. You're ultimately the one that has to live with this decision, not them. So they can tell you all day long that you need to do this, you need to do that. But they're not the one that's going to go home and be like, oh my God, why did I make that decision? I, I just screwed up my birth or, you know, I the birth was not what I wanted because I made that decision. No, they're probably never honestly going to think about you again. And I hate to put it that way, but these doctors see probably hundreds and hundreds of women, you know, throughout their year, career, month. I don't know, you know, a lot. So a lot of times they're not going to remember you. And so it's, it's really important to make sure that you know your options, know your options for pain management, for laboring positions, for birthing positions, which it should be about whatever feels good to you, whatever feels intuitive to you, not to them. It doesn't matter what they think, you know, and a lot of us have this people pleasing mentality where we feel like we have to please everybody. We have to do what is either the norm or what is expected of us because we don't like confrontation. And, you know, I am still a recovering people pleaser. I went through a lot of my life just worrying about what other people think of me, which I don't really care anymore. I'm really getting out of that. But um, it's a process. It is a process. And if you've suffered through that for your entire life, it's really going to come out in birth. And you know, it's crazy because giving birth is the one time where we totally, like most women totally give up their autonomy and they let some person, some doctor that they might not even know, tell them what to do. So, you know, it's important for you to stay educated and question things because why are we going to just do something just because our doctor says, you know, if, especially if it doesn't feel like it aligns with our values, our beliefs, whatever it may be. Okay. And so embracing your autonomy and birth can have an, a profound impact, not only on your birth experience, but also on like the birth culture as a whole, because when you give birth, 
you know, that's your birth. But then think about your kids. So your kids are going to learn from you what birth is, or they're going to learn from TV or, you know, whatever that may, whatever that may be. So, you know, it's important that we realize that now so that we can teach our babies, we can teach our kids how we should face birth. And it shouldn't be like this scary thing, this thing where we let somebody tell us what to do without questioning it. So, yeah, just... Just make sure you you hone into your intuition and ho- do what always feels right to you because ultimately that's what matters. You're going to live with this decision for the rest of your life, okay? Just remember that. Whatever choice you make now is going to affect your birth and your life after that. Okay, so I really want to shift this paradigm. Luke, I really want to transform... You know, like your the experiences and, you know, help foster more benefits for not only moms, but babies and families, because this can affect your postpartum journey, too. So that's all I wanted to speak about today. But just remember, you don't have to give up your autonomy just because you are giving birth. OK, this is still your body. It's not theirs. And ultimately, this the decision, whatever the decision may be is your choice and whatever you decide that is the right choice it doesn't matter what i think it doesn't matter what your doctor thinks ultimately the choice is yours and that's the great decision it's a great decision it's an amazing decision (laughs) whatever you decide okay so just remember that all right well i will see you in the next video if you found this helpful please make sure to share it or let me know if you want to dive deeper into autonomy bodily autonomy not only in pregnancy and birth but also in your postpartum because i just love talking about it uh so yeah i'm trying to keep this nice and quick for you because i know you're busy i mean i'm busy i know you're busy and (laughs) i'm gonna go spend time with the kiddos But don't forget to like and subscribe because the videos are only going to get better from here. And I have so much information up here and I want to share it with you. Okay. So I will see you in the next video. Bye. Say bye. Say bye. Bye. (laughs) Bye. Bye.